I'm sure that uh, most of you have heard the term, the ugly American. And typically that term is heard, you know, kind of around the globe, you know, because, well, Americans are uh, entitled. And we do have a sense of, uh, dare I say, superiority, because we really believe our culture is superior to others. And um, I think that's probably right. However, I think that the ugly American, that term, comes from something a bit more sinister. And I think it comes from organizations like the CIA and the FBI doing things around the globe in the name of America and then we have to take the brunt of it because they do something stupid. Well, that's one thing. That's one kind of level. But apparently they have now turned their ire on America. I'm sorry. Let's be more specific. Americans. I'm leadership in this country has failed miserably. All right, it's Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From the Daily Wire, CIA officer admits to overcover journalist that FBI agents attended January 6th protest at Capitol. Now, look, most of us already knew that. I mean, in all honesty, did you really think that there were no feds in there? Come on, give me a break. Okay. But why did they go after Alex Jones? Well, my first guess is he was effective. He was very instrumental in getting Donald Trump elected in 2016. If you didn't know that, all you got to do is go back. Okay, uh, Hillary Clinton mentioned Alex Jones on her campaign. Okay, she wasn't mentioning Alex Jones because she admires him. She was mentioning him because he is very effective. And these agencies now feel as though they're actually the ones running the country. And for those of you who don't know, well, Stu, I think you're being a bit, uh, you know, over the top. I think you're being a bit hyperbolic. I mean, I don't know that they think they're running the world. They try to overthrow a duly elected president of these United States. They try to imprison a duly elected president of the United States because they the CIA, the FBI, James Comey, John Brennan, the, the, the surveillance state apparatus didn't like him. They tried to imprison him. Dear Lord. All right, before we get into it, why don't you wreck that like button? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Put anyone in jail if you know what to do. How? You set them up. Does the Bureau practice entrapment a lot? Yeah, we get really close. We call it a nudge. A nudge. A nudge. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give them a quick look just to see what happens. Sometimes you like the fuse and just wait for it to follow. <laughs> Nothing like putting out a fake social media thing to like really get people mad. Alex wow. Jones. Yeah, so we were after him. You are? We did what we wanted. Which was what? Took his money away. Chopped his legs off. 
Gavin Oblenis is a contracting officer at the CIA. Oblenis worked for the FBI in 2021 and 2022 in the San Diego office, moved on to Homeland Security where he conducted asylum interviews at the southern border, and now works for the CIA managing multi-million dollar contracts across government agencies and private sector vendors. I work for, um, I work like this without, I'm not supposed to tell people kind of job. If I say intelligence, what do you think? CIA? Yep. <laughs> you work for the CIA? I do. That's incredible. I'm a contracting officer. That's amazing. So I deal a lot with like different agencies. Uh, we're contracting with like uh, Director of National Intelligence to do stuff. We do Navy, Army, any of them really. I just FBI. I used to work for the FBI, so really? through the FBI, I mean, they're like, here, you used to work there. Oh, I'm permanent. I'm so, good. Yeah. Good. Well, why do they call it contracting? Because I do the contract. <laughs> I do all the legal contracts, I fly out to vendors and evaluate them. I love the agency. Good for you. I like the Bureau, too. The Bureau was a lot of fun. I got to do a lot of cool stuff with the Bureau. I was the guy in the back of the truck in the van. Oblenis spoke to an undercover sound investigations reporter about his work experience involving near entrapment and his employer's involvement with political commentator Alex Jones's legal battles. As long as the Bureau is able to progress far enough to be able to put pro-lifers in jail whenever they want. Yeah. You think that's on the agenda? We can, we can, you can kind of put anyone in jail if you know what to do. How? You set them up. <laughs> you create the situation to where they have no choice but to act on their impulse. And once they act on that impulse, then we call that entrapment. It's a fine line. Is, does the Bureau practice entrapment a lot? Yeah, we get really close. Not officially? No. We get but as close as we can. We get as close as we can to it without doing it. So they can entrap some of these pro-lifers into doing things that they Depending, don't... Depending, yeah. We call it a nudge. We call it a nudge. So they can just go after whomever they want. With impunity. And, and for those of you who think, yeah, yeah, but Stu, they, they have, you know, they have oversight, you know, they, they have to, you know, adhere to Senate hearings. And what makes you think that? No, th th seriously, what makes you think the CIA and the FBI actually has oversight? What, what would make you think that Congress and or the Senate actually have a say so in what the CIA and the FBI does. They, they, they've told congressmen, senators, point blank, I'm not going to go into that. Like, like in your face, I'm not going to talk about that. Or, or they, they, they do it, you know, the more diplomatic way, well, we don't really, you know, um, talk about ongoing investigations and, and so we can neither confirm or deny. That's how they do it. There is no oversight. If you thought there was oversight, you're, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what world you're living in. And so they want, they wanted Alex Jones gone. And they came after him Hardcore. A nudge. A nudge. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give them a quick look just to see what happens, right? And how does that happen? You put a post out there or you have someone fake profile say something that triggers, that we know is gonna trigger them, right? Like, we, we already know your history. If we're to that point, we already know everything about it. So you're like, oh, this will piss them off. Sometimes you like to fuse and just wait for it to follow. So here's the thing. You, you know what these are the tactics they're using. And so they wait. They'll set something up. And let you bite. Ask, ask yourself the question, why in the world did Nancy Pelosi not want the National Guard at the Capitol the day of the rally. Why did she refuse to do that? Why did all of them just stand down? Why were officers inviting people into the Capitol 
Have you ever stopped and thought about that? Like what in the world was going on? They just give them, they just give it a nudge, just a nudge, just a nudge. You got, you know, these feds breaking windows to get into the Capitol. Right. Like a railing, mm -hmm. like a, oh. So when a railing happens, that sometimes that the bureau behind it? Yeah, sometimes. I'm messing with putting on a fake social media thing to like really get people mad. Mm-hmm. Post oh, fake news. Yeah, sometimes it's <laughs> It's not fake. It's embellished a little bit. <laughs> Who would be like a big influence that you're, influencer that you're after? You, like a, I don't know, like a, I don't even know these names, like a Fox News person or like oh. a Tucker Carlson or like. Uh, oh, I'm sure he's a Right. You always want the biggest and loudest. Like that, what was his name? The one that said uh, the Sandy Hook didn't happen. Alex loud. Jones. Yeah, so we were after him. You are? Airport. Are you still at that? No. Why? Because he's broke. He got found guilty and had to pay like $100 million. So what, why were you after him? We're not anymore. Just to get the money from him? Yeah. Was that court case used? Was that a CIA sure thing? was. That was an agency thing? Well, actually it was a defamation case. Mm. So it's a civil, <clears throat> not government. But we were looking at all of his followers, commenting and following, like, who's that going to be to? Right? So, even though it's technically not our, well, not the agency, definitely, but the Bureau, for instance, yeah, it's not our purview, it's a civil, it's a civil matter. Pay very close attention to this. I'm sorry to cut, cut it off. Pay very close attention. This is how they work. This is how they operate. These are not honest brokers. Ah, since they got all this access to his stuff and it's there, what can we go find? And did you find anything? I can't tell you oh, we did. Uh, but, so, you know, it's, it's just kind of like, you know, realize the opportunity that you have. So with Alex Jones, mm -hmm. you were watching him long before anything ended up happening? Probably. It wasn't my office, but I mean, we would, we would have been well aware of what he was doing. And the goal with him was what? Just to bankrupt him? Oh, uh, pretty much. And we let the families do it. And the, what? We let the families do it. Were they encouraged to do that by the bureau? Like nudged? We don't encourage people. But like, we, we just say there's no federal statute being broken. But you do have the option for a civil, for a civil case. And it's a pretty good case. Nice. In our opinion. And it's a pretty good case, in our opinion. This, this, this is the leadership that runs this country. You know, they don't like someone for, for God knows what reason. And they feel as though it's, it's their obligation to go after them. All, by the way, paid for by you and me. I, I gotta tell you, man, I, I think I've said this before. I, this country didn't deserve Donald Trump. Okay. We, we had no business having a president that was actually America first. We didn't deserve it. We're too stupid. Just you, you how you know how many Americans actually know what's happening with the CIA and the FBI? How they entrap people? How how they in, in nudged people to go trespass on the Capitol? He, and he just told you we just give him a nudge, just a little nudge. Do you know that uh, they wanted Alex Jones to pay some ungodly amount of money that most countries could never come up with, completely taking everything from him? 
because they didn't like what he had to say. I mean, they are... You heard James James Comey. He he I I'm I'm just I'm so I'm so amazed at the people that never put two and two together. James Comey said the Trump dossier was salacious and unverified. So why in heaven's name did you use a document that was salacious and unverified to secure a FISA warrant multiple times? No one ever asked that. No one ever asked him. No one in the press. When he sat down with, I believe it was Anderson Cooper, nobody ever, never, no one ever said, well, wait a minute, hang on, uh, uh, Director Comey. And wh why is it that he went through, remember he went through this litany of things that Hillary Clinton had done and then came to the conclusion, it's just like Fannie Willis. Well, you know, you've done all these all this dirt, but we, uh, we we're not going to hold you responsible. This country is broke. In, in in more ways than one. I don't mean just financially. I mean spiritually. Like one of my uh, spiritual heroes is uh, a pastor. He has gone on to be with the Lord now named Jake uh, Jack Hayford. Brilliant, brilliant preacher. On, on any measure, brilliant. And I remember him visiting our church one time and he said that America is no longer a Christian nation. We were at one point, but we are no longer. We're, we're not even close. We don't even, man. And so they just went after Alex Jones because they didn't like Alex Jones. Now he's broke. Now he's doing everything just to scrape by. I'm not going to go through the whole video. Um, you can check it out for yourself. Um, I think it's it's worth looking looking into. And these, I look, look, I don't know. Stuff like this really bugs me. That's why I always say, you know, particularly with Donald Trump and all of these, you know, wild accusations, you know, Rico statues on his lawyers. And this is the reason I say, stop, think before you do anything, stop, think. They want you to do that. They want you to do that impulsive thing. That's what they want. And you should never, ever, under any circumstance, give it to them. January 6th was a setup from Jump Street. And everyone knew it. Setting up Alex Jones, nudging the families to sue him. All the FBI, all the CIA, all these three-letter agencies. Scrupulous, just not a not a not a shred of dignity in them. All right, that's it for now. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.